hi you guys god <laughs> today is a very hot day um what is the plan for today let me see if i can pour myself some coffee so we can talk hi guys i'm very sweaty mm. oh what an amazing cup of coffee you guys you want some uh today is wednesday the 5th and uh i left my desk in a very messy way i don't know if you can see <laughs> so i usually clean my desk um when i want to go home but yesterday we had like a thunderstorm like a really strong thunderstorm hitting the new york new york area so i had to run away literally uh back home in order for not to catch any rain and stuff like that so i wanted to show you really quickly what i've been working on because it's been a hot second since the last time I've shown you what I've been doing so yesterday the last thing I did before going home was to work on uh, the storyboard I'm working on a storyboard I've been working on this bastard for like a couple of weeks now because I'm redrawing the storyboard of a graphic novel I am doing this is the dialogue and it's been really interesting to work on this graphic novel you guys and to redraw the storyboard because if it has changed so much maybe i can show you that later on but yesterday there's one thing in this graphic novel that makes me really nervous and that's backgrounds i feel like backgrounds and landscapes are the achilles heel of almost all the illustrators i know <laughs> and that's because we focus so much on characters because they're the main attraction of a story and like the facial expression and um, just like a body language in general and we tend to forget it's not that we can we forget <laughs> it's there staring at us judging us um, we forget about this the landscape and um, the backgrounds so there's a scene that's been on my mind for a while because it's haunting me uh, the first couple of pages um, it's about these two characters driving in this desert so i've been thinking like oh my god one day i will have to draw this scene and it's just so terrifying so yesterday <clears throat> i started practicing this is my ugly sketchbook you guys by the way a lot of you guys have been complimenting my ugly sketchbook because it doesn't look ugly at all and i just wanted to thank you a lot i started drawing my ugly sketchbook with my with a pen right now i've been enjoying i think i have it on my bag actually because i took it home where are you there you go so i've been using this muji pen muji muji uh, and it's my favorite one um i'm burping all over the place sorry guys i'm burping on your face i also love this one a lot this is the pilot g tech c4 uh, I haven't used this in a while and also I'm using so this one um, I don't know if I mentioned this you guys but I'm trying to see if by the mere fact that I can't erase my drawings I be more I'll be more accepting of my mistakes and be like you know what the proportion of this guy is so wrong but I don't care because it looks endearing and adorable and it gives character to this person that I just drawn like for example this these two people they don't look anything like the original but they're still really interesting this character is like insanely long in comparison to the original but I'm like you know what it it's it bothered me in there like as soon as I finished drawing it but then I'm like you know what it looks interesting it's fine so anyway I've been enjoying drawing on this sketchbook so much uh, and also <laughs> the cool thing is that no one do knows the original so it doesn't matter that it looks disproportion or not um, as faithful as the original version because no one is going to compare the original so it's fine anyway so <laughs> I've been practicing landscape you guys because I've been just like the mere fact that I have to draw this bastard someday makes me really scared and anxious so <laughs> i'm like okay maybe i'm going to feel less fearful and scared if i actually start practicing landscapes and the cool thing about landscapes you guys is that rocks they don't have to be 
Again, as faithful as the original, they can be absolutely different from what you've seen. And it's okay because landscapes, you can distort the proportions and it will be fine. So anyway, apparently I realized I love drawing rocks because you don't need to be, <laughs> you don't need to respect the proportion as well. So I found this landscapes, uh, Chilean landscapes. This is Torres del Paine, which is in uh, by the south of my country. Um, and the Atacama Desert, El Desierto de Atacama. And the landscapes, you guys, are just so breathtaking. I have never been to Torres del Paine. It's something that I want to do next time I'm in Chile. And also the Moon Valley, El Valle de la Luna. People say that if you're witnessing uh, El Valle de la Luna, the Moon Valley, it looks like out of this world landscape. It feels like you're in Mars because everything feels super surreal and just the colors are beautiful. Uh, also, I've never been to San Juan province uh, in Argentina. Apparently, I just found out that we share El Valle de la Luna with Chile, Bolivia and Argentina as well. Maybe because we're neighbors. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. But anyway, I was trying to like practice this scene because I wanted to do something really similar to the Grand Canyon. Um, and this actually looks like the Grand Canyon. <clears throat> and just this is the thing, guys. I have no idea what I'm doing. I know those drawings look nothing like what I usually draw, like my illustration style. But I'm having so much fun. I haven't experimented with my illustrations in so long. And I feel like <clears throat> it's been so interesting to show up to a sketchbook that presents no judgment towards you whatsoever. I have this like weird thing that the minute I start drawing, I have such high expectations on the results that the minute I start drawing and the, the drawings suck, I'm like, okay, it's done. I already suck. This is like, why am I still drawing? This is pointless. But um, it's been so nice and freeing to observe myself as I draw without saying any judgment words, judgment words like I suck, uh, this drawing, it's the worst thing I have ever done. <clears throat> it's now how I picture it in my mind and so on and so on. So it's been really nice to guys. It's been really nice to have this sketchbook and to be like, you know what? This perspective, this chair perspective is not like the original, but it's okay because I really enjoy painting this texture. It's been really nice to draw people with different ethnicities because it's something that I never do. Or like this, for example, I enjoy uh, drawing her hair so much. So anyway, um, I don't know, guys, I really wanted to show you like what I've been drawing lately because I've been giving myself an hour a day, roughly, to just sit down on my sketchbook and like listen to a good album. And it's been really nice, my loves. It's been really, really nice. I haven't felt this way like enjoying the process of drawing in so long. So yeah, right now I think I'm going to keep working on my sketchbook. So I'll be having like an hour or two roughly to, oh my God, I can't wait I, to draw. I get really excited. <laughs> um, catch up with my podcasts, drink this amazing coffee and try to take it easy because I've been feeling really down lately. Maybe I can share that with you later on, but I, I don't want to like scare you uh, because it's too early on the video to scare you and I wanted to keep you, you know, engaged. So later on, I'm going to tell you how I've been feeling like, <laughs> God, please don't go. <laughs> anyway.
just finished some drawings. I did this um, every time I found myself not having any idea what to draw. I take pictures of myself on the <laughs> in front of my mirror and I use myself as a model. Uh, but it's great like to practice poses and stuff like that. But yeah, this is what I did this morning. And now I think I'm going to have lunch. It's after lunch, by the way. I just ate lunch and past Fran did it again. She did an amazing job like cooking lunch for me. So thank you, past Fran, for being so awesome. The best wife ever. Um, and I was about to start drawing this card, you guys. So the original file from this like thank you card was on my old computer. And I just realized I left my Apple Pencil back home. And I feel so stupid. I shouldn't say that. It's not my fault. I mean, it is my fault, but I should be gentler on myself. And you guys, lately my memory is everywhere. Like last night, I mean yesterday, I forgot my camera back home. So this morning I brought it to um, the studio. Uh, I also forgot making my coffee, which is something that I do every night. So I feel like I'm all over the place, baby. This should be a very interesting segue to like give you an update on my life. Maybe we can do that right now. Hold on. I'm like basically squatting. So my memory sucks and my mind is probably everywhere right now because guess who has depression? I have depression, you guys. Um, so weird to say it out loud. Uh, so I started therapy again two weeks ago and I'm really excited actually to start therapy because I know this is going to be like super useful for me. Uh, especially after having a miscarriage in such a like um, awful year that I, I think and I imagine that for everybody 2020 has been like oh boy so I started therapy and uh, last week my therapist Jeffrey who I loved uh, and he's the best guy ever uh, he told me basically that um, it might be an early diagnose um, that it's very likely that I have depression and I was kind of surprised when he told me that and yet now when I sit down and those feelings and like thoughts are lingering for a little bit longer I realize it's not so hard to understand why I'm suffering from um, you know depression I guess you have a very clear image like the quintessential picture in your mind of what a depressed person looks like and I feel like I don't fit <laughs> I guess that category because I have a very high functional depression if that's the case um, I still come to work every day I still some somewhat enjoy what I do every day but I've been feeling you guys so sad lately it's almost like a blanket over my head because i feel so foggy and i feel like there's like this huge sorrow that i feel every day like deep d despair i guess is like the best way in which i can explain how i feel <laughs> and it's hard you guys it sucks. I also feel really insecure right now because even though I don't mind telling you these things, I'm like, who wants to follow a person on a channel, like a person who suffers from depression? Because you come to YouTube to be entertained and to forget about everything that's happening around you and your life that sucks right now because that's 2020 for everybody. So I'm like, it's, um, I feel very insecure right now. I wish I was funnier and I wish I could entertain you better because sometimes I watch these YouTube channels and they're so charismatic people behind the camera and they are so eloquent and funny and I'm like I wish I could be them right now because that's the content that I crave the most right now. 
I I would rather be honest with you and tell you what's happening on the background rather than pretend that everything's okay because that's not my mojo. Uh, you guys know how brutally honest I am with you. So if you see me crying, <laughs> no, I don't, I mean, yeah, maybe, yeah, I will cry. I will definitely cry, but like if I seem off or if I seem like weird, you know what's happening. So yeah, it sucks. It's a huge bummer when someone tells you you're depressed. Um, and I never thought I was going to have depression. And now look at me. I was planning to work on this postcard today because I need to order more. So I'm so sorry if you have received your order lately and it doesn't have this beautiful postcard, but now you know why. Um, but now I have no idea what I'm going to do. I guess I'm going to keep working on the graphic novel. Sorry that this vlog hasn't been as entertaining and wonderful as my last vlogs. But this is me, you guys. This is me. And I told you that I was going to be over with you. You know how I am right now. You know, you know all of my flaws and everything that's happening. So I challenge myself to be as human as I can on the internet because I want you to see me exactly the way I am and sometimes that's hard because I wish I was funnier I already said that but anyway so let's work together um, and let's embrace our imperfections and me forgetting things <laughs> okay guys i'm going home now but i wanted to show you really quickly my, prog my progress um i don't know how but i managed to do eight pages for the storyboard and also took some notes for a comic i want to do for instagram i don't know if i managed to do this this week but it still is nice to put this on the back of my mind so i can wrap the comic up because i don't have an ending yet so there you go now let's go home basically <laughs> hi guys good morning today is friday i can't believe it's friday again um weeks are passing so fast i don't know how but anyway uh it's 11 ish a.m i just got to the studio like about an hour ago and i've been drinking some good old cold brew iced coffee and i'm having a very slow morning i decided that at least one hour a day i was going to draw and just like practice and have one hour a day of drawing and trying to like experiment because that's the hour of the day that makes me really happy i actually am really proud of this um texture actually i never did textures <laughs> There's so much noise coming from the street. Um, I actually never do textures on dresses and stuff, but I'm trying to incorporate them to my drawings. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing, you guys, but I'm having so much fun doing these drawings. I think I already show you most of these. Um, you guys ask me all the time, where do I get uh, these drawings or like uh, the references? And most of the time what I like to do is I save pictures on Instagram, pictures that inspire me or like poses that I find interesting. And this is usually what I end up using as a reference. So like interesting, for example, interesting faces or um, like, for example, this one is from uh, photos of Nigeria's young and fashionable elite. <laughs> And I thought this photo shoot was really interesting because everybody has such uh, like interesting body language and poses and sometimes like leaning on one side or the other. Um, the texture of the clothing as well is really interesting. So every time I go on Instagram, I try and picture people who are having like an interesting pose. And it's anyway, um, sometimes it's really hard for me to come up, come up, come up, <laughs> come up with poses and facial expressions from scratch, from imagination. So that's why I resource a lot of what I draw to real life pictures. I found that my illustration style or like the way in which I depict people drawing wise, kind of like jumped. I had like a huge improvement or at least I, I witnessed a huge improvement once I started taking references from real life pictures. 
So I always uh, get your questions, you guys, like how can I improve my body language? How can I improve my uh, anatomy? And it's, it's basically practice a lot and draw from real life. Either, I know now it's, it's, it's tricky to like draw outside, <laughs> But um, uh, draw from real life, like from pictures, from real, real human beings. So that's what I've been doing lately and I'm having so much fun. Also, you guys, the other day, this guy arrived. Um, I think I already mentioned this to you or maybe to my patrons, but I would love to start trying nibs, like pen nibs. It's not focusing. Come on, baby. There you go. Uh, so I really want to start trying these ones. I order three types of nibs and ink so we can uh, practice this together. People have told me in the past that drawing with nibs like manga artists is really, really hard. So I have no idea how I'm going to do it, but I'm really interested in it. And also I think today I'm going to work on my storyboard. I think I already showed you this, but the other day I made such good progress with it. So I think I'm going to see if I can draw eight more pages today. So anyway, sorry if this week has been like really non-interesting. It's just that uh, I have weeks in which I have lots of deadlines and things to do. And this week has been particularly me drawing and catching up with the graphic novel, sort of like a very artsy draw all day kind of week which is my favorite week also challenge wise i don't know if you guys know this but i'm doing this challenge in which i'm listening to the 500 greatest albums of all time by the rolling stone magazine and right now i'm 137 god i can't believe it's like oh my god i'm going to finish this um challenge this year most likely and today i have to listen to the replacements uh, Tim album and the greatest hits by Elton John and then Pavement. Uh, so that's what I'm listening today. I'm also feeling super sad um, in general, mental health wise, but I found it really. But I found that it's really helpful for me to draw how I feel. I've been journaling a lot, you guys, about the way I'm feel I'm feeling or about you know being depressed <laughs> so i don't know if this works out um but i've been journaling a lot of how like where sadness feels and some like words that i'm feeling or how i am doing a particular day or like for example this is how i feel sometimes like that sadness is um, it feels like a blanket over your head. I know it's like super eerie and weird, um, but I'm trying to, I feel like there's a few moments in life in which you're, I'm going to feel this way. I mean, hopefully. So I wanna see if I can document how I'm feeling right now and, uh, and see if I can, you know, look back and see my improvements or just like recognize what I was going through. I feel like sometimes it's so, I'm sorry that I'm talking so long you guys in this vlog, but I feel like sometimes it's, um, it's super hard to feel your feels. And something that I've, I've been learning with my therapist Jeffrey is that you're supposed to, like all the feelings are valid, no matter how infantile they are or how childish they are or how weird they are, all feelings are valid and in order to prevent anxiety and to feel anxious i am supposed to feel all the feels so now that i feel sad it's really strange like how am i supposed to feel sadness so i feel like a way in which i can channel my emotions and my feelings and what i'm going through is through drawing so anyway i wanted to share that with you in case you are going through the same thing i feel like it's very important to not be dismissive on ourselves so I've been drawing a lot about sadness um, because it's both a super like horrible thing. I guess horrible is a very strong word, but like it's such a like bummer thing <laughs> to go through. But at the same time, it's such an interesting thing to go through. Anyway, uh, I don't want to keep boring you. I'm going to keep drawing and maybe later on we can have lunch together. That will be fun, I guess. Also, I want to show you 
this skirt that I'm wearing today. So I got this skirt, when was this? Uh, about a year ago, second hand, and I love the way the skirt does this. This is not my hips, by the way, but I love the way my hips look crazy on the skirt and it's like it's super nice it's very long it has like a thingy in the back so you can walk comfortably and you also have pockets i'm trying to experiment you guys uh fashion wise and i remember when i got this skirt i'm like this skirt is so out there at least for me you guys i'm very like in a comfort zone in terms of fashion so i feel like i'm so happy i'm experimenting with like you know <laughs> with what i'm doing um and i wanted to show you this because for a long time i refused to wear colors and now i'm trying to you know incorporate them i look crazy um i'm trying to incorporate them to my wardrobe you know so anyway i want to show you that because i like this skirt and i feel like a powerful woman when i'm wearing it
Hi guys. Can you see me? Yes. Uh, I'm going home now. <laughs> I I feel kind of weird because I had so many plans or things that I wanted to do today and I did none of those. I didn't work on my storyboard. I didn't draw the comic that I wanted to do for my Instagram account. I barely draw. I mean, I, I guess I, yes, I, I draw, I drew. Um, that's something positive. But I feel like since now I'm dealing with so many feelings, most of them being sadness and like the rest of you having a miscarriage and be living in a pandemic, I feel like um, I will have to set my expectations lower or I guess being open to the possibility that I'm not going to be as productive as I used to be before but anyway the nice thing you guys is that i clean my desk for future friend so monday friend she's going to be so happy that she's going to arrive to the studio and it's going to be so clean and tidy i mean not insanely clean and tidy but at least most of the the surface is going to you know be clear uh, i'm taking this with me you guys keep asking me <laughs> what is this what is this these are my noise cancelling headphones they're from bose i saved for a while in order to get them because they're really expensive headphones yet i am so happy i got them you know how you sometimes get really insecure about buying really expensive things because i'm like am i really going to use them is this really going to be an investment and they have been because you guys know how noisy my street is um, and I wanted to show you what I'm bringing home because I know you guys are super curious <laughs> Today was going to rain. It didn't rain. It's fine. I'm taking my nail polish I love this shade by the way. It's from Ella Mila and this is the shade pool party. My pool party is one of my favorite colors ever and I'm also taking my computer and my ugly sketchbook with me and this is the most shocking thing ever. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm only three <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm only taking three pens with me back home. I usually take my entire uh, pencil case, but it's super heavy because, as you might guess it, it's full of markers and pens. But now I'm barely using markers uh, and other pencils and stuff. So I want to see how I'm doing with only these three pencils. Pen. What am I saying? These three pens with me. Um, and that's basically what I'm taking with me. My leftover lunch. I mean, not leftover, but I ate some. This is, is this gross for you guys? It's fine. Uh, some cherries I had for lunch. My ring and my mask. And that's it. This is lovely. This thing, you guys, I need to talk to you for a second. So what am I doing? I can basically do this. Okay. I am not taking you guys home because my camera is super heavy. <laughs> I feel like I'm negotiating with you. I can't take you back home with me. You're like a puppy on the street and I'm, I'm begging you to understand I can't take you home with me. So I'm gonna leave you guys, all of you here during the weekend, but you have lots of entertainment. Like you have so many t-shirts and things to do. You also have my entire book collection. So you can like browse around. You have so many art supplies. You have coffee and tea and snacks and an infinite amount of planners that you could fill out while I'm gone. So, I mean, you guys are going to be entertained during this entire weekend here. So I don't feel guilty anymore about not taking you, not taking you home. Again, the camera is super heavy and my backpack is already super heavy. So anyway, today's Friday. You're going to be out by yourself Saturday and Sunday. So I guess you will be okay. The AC is working. So if you want to turn on the AC, that's fine. So I will see you all on Monday. I hope you have an amazing time here <laughs> hi you guys good morning i just got to the studio my hair is a mess let me see if i can there you go <laughs> i don't know what it's going on with my hair uh sorry i really have to apologize because the ac is on right now um and i won't be able to turn it off because it's super hot right now <laughs> so i'm so sorry for the noise i hope you had a very enjoyable weekend at my studio reading my books and drawing and, and so on and so on 
right now you guys I am going to draw because I couldn't I didn't manage to draw as much as um, I wanted to during the weekend I had a very social weekend I met lots of friends uh, throughout the weekend so now I feel as an introvert I am exhausted <laughs> because I tend to recharge when I'm by myself so I was really wanting I was really craving I was really so after that weekend, I really wanted to come to the studio to be by myself. It's very noisy today. So let me... God, I'm so sweaty. Let me show you. So this is what my leg... <laughs> my legs. This is what my desk looks this morning. I'm going to go... Um, God, I can't speak today, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have some coffee in a little bit and let me show you very quickly i couldn't draw as much during the weekend mainly because i've been really sad lately this is part of what we did together on friday i'm not sure if you i don't even remember if i showed you this probably yeah i did uh but i'm basically practicing textures on dresses i never draw textures on dresses so it was really nice to experiment and to put like patterns and things and this was me trying to channel or at least share what I've been going through on therapy and like the things that I'm learning and why it's so hard to go to therapy um, after a while. So I, I think I did this page on Saturday morning and this was Sunday. <laughs> so I really wanna um, take the morning to work on my sketches because I really want to draw yet I uh, I didn't have as much time as I wanted to during the weekend so I really need to take the morning a very slow morning I'm making no sense you guys should I film this video again no I'm not you need to see how <laughs> how much it takes me sometimes to channel my you know English self like my English speaking self um, and I haven't had coffee yet so this is me trying to make sense with you guys so i'm going to do that and maybe during the afternoon i'm going to reply and answer some emails and messages and i'm going to start editing this video so i don't wait until last minute tomorrow to edit it so yeah mm, should i film this video no no i want to show you how i am so yeah around five I had I just had my therapy session my third therapy session and I am emotionally exhausted so I just want to go home um, I wanted to have like a really productive afternoon but that didn't happen again so I'm just going to chill at home and probably do some journaling and watch YouTube because that's what I do um, I was just like second guessing everything that I've been doing during this vlog um, I love being honest but that sometimes I can I can be sometimes too honest and I'm like I wonder if the guys want to know about my journey finding out I have depression <laughs> and being absolutely honest because I don't want to trigger you guys and um, but I, I love creating more awareness around the subject of depression and like going to therapy and I feel like there's so many people doing already that on YouTube. Um, 
but I too want to be honest anyway I'm going to go now uh, but see you tomorrow my loves hopefully we can edit this video together hi you guys <laughs> man my hair looks so orange on camera um i was just editing as you can see the video that i just watched and um i didn't realize how much i repeated myself over most of like the same subjects so i really wanted to apologize i thought it was uh annoying i generally you guys i don't remember like my memory sucks right now it's very fragile so i tend to forget things i really wanted to take the time to thank my patrons for all your love and support especially uh throughout this last couple of weeks because i've been feeling really down lately and for you guys to watch like you watch this entire beast it's a really chunky long video and i really wanted to thank you for your time and uh, i hope it was entertaining despite all of the subjects that i've talked about so thank you so much for spending this like an hour with me i really appreciate your time i love you guys so much i hope you know that <laughs> i will never stop telling you that and i really wanted to wish you an amazing friday ahead no matter where you are and i hope you're taking care of yourself during this crazy end of the world kind of situation i really hope you're taking care of yourselves and resting and sleeping and doing a face mask every once in a while and saying no also to commitments if you feel like it's too much or saying yes to friends and um i don't know i think it's it's really useful to know our boundaries so i really wanted to you know <laughs> i love you guys have an amazing weekend and we'll see each other next week bye bye